Right, hello. Today I'm going to be doing a wood machine tutorial. Um, uh, I'm just going to be painting in my own height map first and then putting it through wood machine and taking a look. Um, this is just something to do when you want more control on the area you're making. You can still do most of this stuff in wood machine, but like this is just a kind of different way to do stuff. Maybe it's more your style or whatever. So, okay, so this software is just Clip Studio Paint Pro. Um, you can just use Photoshop or anything like, you know, anything else. Doesn't really matter, they'll do the same thing. Um, all right, so pretty much when you're making a height map, you're just trying to build up the colors uh, from dark to light or the other way around. Dark is the lowest uh, height and white is the highest. Okay, um, let's see, I guess, uh, I guess I'll just kind of make a valley type thing. Uh, yep. Uh, uh, yeah. And slowly get brighter colors. And like the latch is up to you, you can do whatever you want, doesn't really matter. I guess this is just kind of like the quite high up. Um, you know what? I might do something here as well. And one more, I guess. Uh, if I was to use pure white, that'd be pretty high up and it gets a bit kind of unrealistic. So I think 150 or, you know, this here, 150, uh, that's pretty much, that's usually as high as I usually go. I mean, you know, it's up to you. Depends on what you're making. What have I done? That. Okay, so now once I've done those, those are just to kind of block out um you know I guess the the layout and now I go through everything and blur it um, when I use this large blur brush when it's quite large it's gonna make more you know like hills whereas when I get it smaller it's gonna be more of a cliff type thing So, like this bit here, we'll just make this, we'll just purely make this a cliff. And you'll see that, how that works in um, World Machine when I put it in. Make this, you know, slope. Uh, this as well. And I guess we'll do this kind of a slope. And we'll have this as just a cliff. It's just a hill. I'll make this quite smooth, really smooth there. And we could kind of turn it into a cliff. Um, you don't want to just leave them like like this because that's just it looks that just looks stupid. Even once you've like blurred it and stuff. 
Um, you know, most of this is just up to you. It's kind of like how you think it should look. Because even after we've done this, we still got to um, put it through World Machine. Because uh, if we look up close, like see how the color changes there? That looks um, really stupid when you put it in World Machine. So you got to like blur it again and stuff like that. Whoops, we're done. I just make that slope. And the last one. Um, make this a cliff. Make that a slope. This is kind of back it up like that. And yeah, do the same thing here. Okay, so there is our height map. Now we just got to put it through World Machine. Let's save it. And think, uh, hmm, belly. And uh, now let's go to World Machine. And we go to Generator and do File Input. And get our picture, what I call it, a valley. And I mean, if it looks a bit stupid, you can kind of uh, use the specific range here and just change values, but I think it looks right like that. Um, now, yeah, you still need to put it through World Machine because I'll show you why. Um, this looks real stupid. We look at how if you're getting close, see these like uh, weird terrace things? Like you just can't do anything about them. Um, in you know whatever uh, painting program you're using. So once we put it in World Machine, we've got to do stuff like I mean I just get rid of them by going to Filter and getting the blur. Um, do Gaussian. So even like a blur in your software like uh, like this still won't work. Um, yep, let's take another look. You can see everything's been smoothed out. Nice. Um, so, like, you probably can get some real good details in with this, but I mean, you kind of just want to draw in your area and stuff because. I and mean, it's still better to get like details using World Machine. So we'll just go to uh, Erosion. Like we're just getting general information from your file input. All right, let's take another look. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, may I use too much erosion? Take another look. Yeah. So you can see the cliff kind of thing here. Um, my erosion's kind of got rid of the cliff, so like. You guess just play with the erosion, stuff like that. Um, and you know, you can still mix your file with uh, your Perlin noise and stuff. Okay, so what else? Just to make it look cool, we'll use an overlay. I made this one today. I think it's quite cool. Oops. Uh, it's quite a detailed one. Let's get rid of this and this. And 
this. All right. Let's just look at those cliffs. Let's take another look. All right. The erosion doesn't look very good, does it? I might just turn it down a bit. Maybe fix that later. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Um, yeah, not, mass, not much else to say. All right, so I hope you like that. Thanks for watching.